This is Robin in Epigenia. Today I will discuss about the strengthening democracy in a new nation. As young democracy emerged, establishing stable, free, and fair election is a crucial. Voter education, international oversight, and preventing fraud are essential steps to build trust in the democratic process. Ang pagpapalakas ng demokrasya sa mga bagong bansa ay mahalaga upang matiyak ang maayos at makatarungang pamamahala, proteksyon ng karapatan ng mamamayan at pagpapalakas ng ekonomiya. Ito rin ay nagbibigay ng mga mekanismo para sa pagpapalaga sa kalayaan, pagkapantay-pantay at pagpapalakas ng partisipasyon ng mamamayan sa pamamahala. Sa pamamagitan ng demokrasya, ang mga mamamayan ay maaaring magkaroon ng boses na magdesisyon at maging bahagi ng proseso ng pag-unlad ng kanilang bansa. Next is challenges of stable election. First, entrenched interests. Powerful elites may resist reforms that threaten their influence. So, tumututol ang mga makapangyarihang elitista na maaring nagbabanta sa kanilang impluensya na tumutukoy sa kanilang kapangyarihan sa politika, ekonomiya, o lipunan. Second, Logistical barriers, renewed population, inadequate infrastructure, and limited resources can hinder election access. Ang kakulangan sa infrastruktura at limitadong mga mapagkukunan ay maaring hadlang sa pag-access sa panahon ng halalan. Ang mga infrastruktura ay katulad ng pasilidad, kagamitan, at sistema na kailangan para sa maayos na pag papatakbo sa isang lugar o komunidad. Ito ay maaring mga kalsada, tulay, kuryente, tubig, komunikasyon tulad ng internet at iba pang serbisyo na nagpapabuti sa pamumuhay ng mga tao sa isang lugar. Third, voter apathy. If citizens lack faith in the system, low turnout can undermine legitimacy. Kapag kulang sa partisipasyon ng mamamayan sa sistema, maring ito ay mabawasan ang pagiging lehitimo nito na tumutukoy sa pagkakaroon ng legalidad, otoridad at pagtanggap mula sa mamamayan o partido. Next is empowering voters. We have education campaigns, inclusive access, civic engagement. So, education campaigns inform citizens about their rights, the electrical process, and the importance of participating. An election it is a crucial for maintaining a healthy democracy dahil ito ay isang fundamental na karapatan at responsibilidad ng bawat mamamayan sa isang demokratikong lipunan. At sa pamamagitan ng pagboto, ang mga mamamayan ay nagpapayag ng kanilang opinion at Nagbibigay daan sa kanilang mga kinatawa na gumagawa ng desisyon para sa kanilang kapakanan. Kung hindi tayo makikialam sa eleksyon ay maaari hindi natin makakamit ang tamang pinuno at hindi maisulong ang mga adikain at reformang kinakailangan ng lipunan. Sa makatwid, ang paglahok ng isang, isang proseso ng halalan ay hindi lamang isang karapatan kundi isang paraan upang mapanatili at palakasin ang ating demokrasya. Next is inclusive access. Ensure polling station are accessible with provision for marginalized groups. It is essential for upholding democratic principle of inclusivity and equality. It ensures that every citizen, regardless of their ability or social state, has the opportunity to exercise their rights to vote freely and without barriers. Next, we have civic engagement. It is encourage grassroots, activism, and community-driven initiative to boost voter turnouts because it empowers people to engage with and take ownership of their democratic process. By mobilizing at the local level, individuals can make a tangible impact on their communities, fostering a sense of connection and responsibility that often translate into participation at the ballot box. Grassroots efforts can reach population that traditional campaigns might overlook, ensuring that a more diverse range of voice is
heard an election. Next, we have ensuring free and fair election. We have Independent Election Commission that establish non-partisan bodies to administer election and address dispute impartially. It is crucial for ensuring the integrity and fairness of the electoral process. Ito ay makakatulong sa pamamagitan ng pagtanggal ng mga posibleng bias at tunggalian ng interes na maaaring magdulot ng pagdududa sa tiwala ng publiko. Next, transparent processes. Publish election data allow independent monitoring and maintain clear procedures are essential steps to ensure transparency, accountability, and fairness in the electoral process. Next, we have combating fraud. Implement robust security measures, audience result, and prosecute any irregularities. Ibig sabihin nito ay pagpapatupad ng mga resulta at pagsusuri ng anumang hindi kapanipaniwalang pangyayari sa seguridad. Next, the role of international observers. We have United Nations. It is provide impartial election monitoring and technical assistance. This is typically includes observing polling stations, verifying voters' registration, monitoring ballot counting, and addressing any irregularities. Next, we have European Union. It is deploy observation mission to access the integrity of electoral process. Deploying observation mission to assess the integrity of the electoral process is crucial for ensuring transparency and fairness. Next, we have OSCA. It is promote democratic election and support capacity building efforts. So these is are the essential for fostering sustainable democratic practices by empowering individuals and institutions with the knowledge and skills necessary for conducting free, fair, and transparent elections to contribute the strengthening of democratic process worldwide. So we have Carter Center. It is monitor elections and advocate for universal democratic principle. For ensuring fair and transparent governance worldwide, it is involves observing elections processes, promote, promoting inclusivity, transparency, and accountability, also safeguarding the right of voters. Next pages, we have preventing electoral fraud. First, strengthen institution. It is empower independent election commission and the judiciary to investigate and address irregularities. Second, enhance transparency. So require comprehensive auditing, real-time reporting, and public access to electoral data. Third, we have engage civil society. It is collaborate with domestic and international observers to monitor the electoral processes. Next, we have peaceful transition of power. We have acceptance of result. Encourage all parties to respect the will of the voters and comment to a peaceful transfer of power. Civic participation. It is a foster of political culture of active citizenship where citizens hold leaders accountable and defend democratic norms. Dispute resolution. It establishes clear legal mechanism to address electoral grievances and settle dispute through lawful means. International support. Encourage the international community to provide assistance and apply dip diplomatic pressure to uphold democratic outcomes. Last, we have strengthening democratic institution. Independent judiciary. It is ensure role of law and checks on executive power. Next, we have free press. Holds leaders accountable and informs the public. Next, robust legislator. It provides oversight and representation of diverse interests. And the last one is vibrant civil society. It is empower citizen to participate in governance. And that's all the streetening democracy in a new nation.